my dear friends welcome to raj shekhar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 624 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on inception networks before understanding this lecture i request you to go through my previous lecture that is lecture number 623 let's take a very simple example imagine i have a tensor of size 28 cross 28 cross 192 this channel depth this 192 is channel depth the, the channel depth is 192 imagine i am performing convolution of size 5 by 5 with the same padding there are 32 such kernels this 32 indicates how many kernels are there there are 32 kernels what is my output looks like just see my output if you observe what is my output looks like my output because i am using same padding isn't it just see Now here what we are saying we are using this one padding is same because we are using same padding i'm um, will be your output will be the same as input what is the input and what is the output uh, because of same padding your output and input are same isn't it what is this this is input size is this one 28 by 28 your output size is also 28 by 20 28 isn't it the this input is 28 by 28 your output is also 28 by 28 what about depth i have just see depth how many kernels i have here i have 32 kernels that's important i have 32 kernels here in in uh, kernels in this convolution so the depth will be what is the depth depth will be 32 because of this 32 because of this 32 kernels your depth just see this depth is also this number what is this number this depth number is also 32 just see this is 32 isn't it what is the reason reason is there are 32 kernels how many computations we have to perform that's important isn't it we have to perform the number of computations you have to perform to eventually get this 3d tensor means number of computations just observe this one what it says number of computations you have to perform to get from 1 to 2 means to from 1 to 2 you have to come isn't it how many computations do we need that is important yes, isn't it you have to what it says the number of computations you have to perform to eventually get from this particular 3d tensor to this 3d tensor isn't it that's what it says yes yes this is my input tensor which one is my input tensor this is my input tensor just observe this is input tensor this is my output tensor isn't it and what is my convolution size to be precise my convolution kernel my convolution kernel has convolution kernel has length 5 this 5 into 5 into 192 what is 5 5 is length of length 5 what is this 5 this 5 is depth this 5 uh, no, uh, sorry it's not depth it is width this is width equal to 5 isn't it length equal to 5 this first 5 indicates length second 5 indicates width and the what is channel this is channel of 192 because i need actually uh, i need to actually have the same Uh, how this channel length is same as uh, the, these two numbers must match, isn't it? This is this this is and just see this one ninety two and this one ninety two. They are same. That's what I am writing here. Yes. Now you can understand. This five is length. This five is width. This depth depth or number of channels. This one ninety two is depth. I can say I can say number of channels. What about this five? As we are discussing, this is width equal to. five isn't it this channel length is same as this channel length is same as just see this this 192 is same as 
this 192 how many computations are needed for this that's that's important isn't it how many computations are needed for this task let's do a simple calculation for every pixel here isn't it for every pixel here just see where here yes for every pixel here what are the total number of pixels do we have in this 3d tensor we have 28 into 28 into 32 32 isn't it total number of pixels in this 3d tensor is 28 into 28 into 32 num the num uh, numbers isn't it basically this is a 3d array isn't it what it is this is basically it's a 3d array what is this this is basically it is a 3d array so in this 3d tensor there are 28 into 28 into 32 numbers how many numbers are there how many pixel values how many numbers are there 28 into 28 into 32 numbers for each number to compute each of this cell how to compute each of this number how to compute each of this cell isn't it i have to compute like this each of this cell or each of these numbers how many computation do how do we have to uh, do remember our convolution has length of 5 what is the what is the length of convolution length is 5 and uh, what is the length of length of 5 and width of 5 and depth of 192 isn't it this is length 5 this is width this is depth uh, 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 is it isn't it each convolution of depth of 192 because this depth is, that's what we were saying this is 192 isn't it therefore this chart this one is also 192 they must be same isn't it so to generate one value you need to take phi cross phi tensor what you have to do to generate to generate one value you need to take phi cross phi tensor of depth 192 and multiply with our kernel or kernel which is a phi cross phi cross 192 isn't it you have to multiply it of uh, to get to generate a value to, so to generate one value we need to perform phi cross phi cross phi into 192 multiplications and additions that's important because we we take the small tensor here we, we are taking small tensor here just see you are taking a small tensor here phi cross phi cross 192 and you multiply you are multiplying this tensor that is important multiplying this with you are multiplying this with uh, with this phi cross phi cross 192 kernel isn't it you are multiplying with this particular kernel you will do component wise multiplication and sum them up how many multiplications and additions do we need 5 5 into 5 into 192 to generate one output how many such numbers do we have how many such numbers do we have we have 28 into 28 into 32 numbers is, is, isn't it that's important how many numbers we have 28 into 28 into 32 is the total number of cells in the tensor in the output tensor and the number of computation computations need to do for each individual convolution uh, uh, this itself uh, i can say just say this one to generate one value we need to perform 5 into 5 into 192 multiplications and additions how many cells are there there are total number of 28 into 28 into 32 cells for each cell for each cell how many computations i need for each cell i need 5 into for each cell in the in the output tensor for each cell for each number in the output uh, output in this output how many computations i need 5 into 5 into 192 computations how many how many numbers are how many pixels how many cells are there there are 28 into 28 into 32 therefore total how many computations if you need just uh, just see this this itself is is 120 million multiplications and additions of course 
it's a massive but it's a massive number of um, computation so for for one simple for one simple um, the, uh, this the, this needs 120 for sim, for one simple 5 cross 5 convolution imagine uh, i need 120 million computations i have to do multiple convolutions i have to do 1 cross 1 convolution 3 cross 3 convolution 5 cross 5 convolution I, I, isn't, isn't it this is one layer that's important okay this is one layer just for one layer i have 100 million comp- just um, million computation that's the, that's a crazy large number so so the 1.2 almost it's 1.2 million computation so they say can we optimize it that's important can we optimize this and here is the software engineering innovation they said if this is my input just see if this is my input and this is my output i have input and output isn't it and i am looking and look uh, uh, where is the output we are looking for output i am looking this output input size is 28 into 28 into 192 and my output is 28 into 28 into 32 looking for Uh, this 28 into 28 into 32 after applying 5 cross 5 kernel just see after applying 5 cross 5 kernels in our kernelization our kernel size is 5 cross 5 isn't it so they said instead of directly going from input to output instead of directly going to from input to output if i use why because if i go directly from input to output i need 120 million computations isn't it if i use if i use as it takes 120 million computations can we optimize it that's important isn't it the uh, i use if i use uh, if i use one cross one if i use one cross one kernel as an intermediate kernel in uh, instead of going directly from um, from input to output just see here i am using intermediate kernel what is that intermediate kernel size is 1 cross 1 isn't it that's what it says what it says here we we got if you, if i go directly we got 120 million computations that we have to do so the software engineers at google says can we optimize it that's important so the software engineers at google realized was they perform 1d kernel first isn't it this is they are performing which kernel first 1d kernel isn't it that is 1d 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 kernel first 1 cross 1 kernel first with how many kernels there are 16 such kernels they are using 16 kernels this technique this technique if if i use this one if if if, uh, if i use if, if instead of going directly just see here if i if i if i you if 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 you observe this one, what is the difference between these two diagrams? In this case, I am I am using intermediate kernel, one-dimensional kernel, one cross one kernel, isn't it? Here we are not using any intermediate kernel. So each of my kernel look like each of my kernel. If you if I go back, each of my kernel is one cross one cross one ninety two. Now we can perform five cross five. Five, five cross five kernelization with thirty-two kernels. The result I will get, the result I will get is very similar. That's important. If I if I use this intermediate kernel, if I use this intermediate kernel, which intermediate kernel? Kernel of one cross one, one D kernel. How many such kernels you are using here? Here you are using sixteen such kernels. Without this intermediate kernel. this is without without intermediate kernel this is with intermediate kernel if you and if you observe the results you are getting same results results are similar results is same isn't it now num as you are getting same number of same results as you are getting same results now can we if if i make use this intermediate kernel of size 1 cross 1 how many computation do we need if i use this 1 cross 1 16 1 cross 1 um, the this is 1 uh, 1d kernel of 1 cross 1 how many is kernel 16 such kernels as an intermediate kernels if i use even you are getting same results without without using this this one this is without using intermediate kernel 
isn't it? This is with using intermediate kernel. If you observe, you are getting same result. My idea is in if if I if I don't use intermediate kernel, you need 120 million computations. Here I need approximately 120 million computations. But if I use intermediate kernel, can we reduce number of con computations, number of calculations? That is the idea. How we can reduce by introducing such intermediate kernels, I will discuss in my next class. Just go through this lecture. If you have any difficulty, please keep a comment. Thank you very much.